Hello there, this is Ivar by Ivar's Fly Workshop and today we are going to tie an all Icelandic pattern by Gilvi Kristjansson and this pattern is called Mistla and we use like a bath chain or, or dumbbell ice on the Mistla and it's like iconic for the fly kind of but those eyes are like homemade and you must be aware of cutting the thread with them, like there. Yeah, just refurbishing that stuff and get us back on track. <clears throat> we'll, yeah, you see... Um, Use a red thread for it and uh, be aware of cutting the thread again when we are attaching the eyes. But this um, mark where the eyeball is on the eyes, uh, that can be sometimes sharp. It just depends on how you work the eyes, but just in case, it's usually a little sharp and the thread can suffer for that. Uh, the body of the fly is made out of flat tinsel so we are using a silver tinsel for it and we'll wrap that around the body of the fly get the thread in position and here we are we'll just lock the uh, Lock the tinsel in place and uh, get the thread back and trim off the trim off the end of the silver tinsel. And the next step is the wing, and we are using a black feather for the wing. It's uh, either duck or geese, which you can choose from, or some black. Actually, any black feather with long enough fibers will do the job. But I'm using a geese since the uh, I'm run, run out of black duck feathers, but it will do the exactly the do exactly the same. And I pinched the uh, feather with my finger, place a thread between my fingers like there, hold it, and then pull it gently down to lock in the feather. Do it a couple of times and then you will get the wing like uh, in the position which you prefer. In uh, this case the wing is a little long so I prefer to pull it a little bit. It's, uh, with this method you can tune in the length of your wing. Then we snap off the, off the end of the uh, rest of the wing. And the rest of the fly, or the last part, it's a relatively simple fly. You use a red antron tub. Uh, for this tub I'm actually gonna use a tubbing brush. It's like red crystal antron. It's, uh, yeah, you can use it for lots of flies, but uh, since we have it I'm gonna use it. But, but uh, personally, I'm not lazy when it comes to tubbing. And personally, I'm just finishing up the dubbing brush because I I like to, you know, place my dub on manually. So I'm not too fond of the brushes, but but I'm using them since we had them and I'm not buying them again. I'm just buying loose uh, crystal antron instead. And we get the thread there to the eye of the hook and take this wrap around and over like we did. And then we secure the brush in its place. And then we trim off the rest of the brush. It's nice to uh, place a fly like this in the vise because we are going to make the, make the knot now. And the knot of the fly must not be too large. And there is not too much space to keep a large knot there. So I re readjust the fly just like this in the vise, so the thread won't come off. We'll do the finishing 
we are finishing job a couple of times and uh, and we are not spending a video on the uh, varnishing we will just place a little piece of a varnish on it and that's about it and there you have it, Misla great fly that catches both trout and arctic char here in Iceland and I hope you liked the video you remember to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video Thanks a lot.